Could you guess this football club from this clue? Yeah, of course you could. Don't congratulate yourself. Welcome to a series in which anything and everything might be a potential clue. They literally won the league about 14 years ago. But have since been relegated. I'll find the stadium. I am currently wedged inside the turnstile at this ground. And all you have to do is guess who it belongs to. What's crazy is I'm currently staring at the entrance sign to the stadium, but you guys don't have a clue. Oh, yeah. One might say I should have come here at 12 o'clock, but actually I'd say no, I shouldn't. I spoke to someone. Oh, that's a bit of an echo, isn't it? I spoke, that's not a clue. I just spoke to somebody who works here, looks like the groundsman, and just explained who I am and what I'm doing. Because I do put myself in some peculiar positions. For example, I'm currently wedged inside a turnstile. Here's a clue. A current Premier League goalkeeper played here within the last 10 years. The first ever penalty kick was taken against this football club back in 1891. I mean, I could have just made that up. It's not like you were there. If you visit this club, you're very likely to get an old fashioned football experience. But the club nearly disappeared in 2009 and it wasn't an attempt at a magic trick. Do you know, I'm rapidly falling out of love with football, but when I visit grounds like this and, and chat to the people here, it does restore my faith. It was not the first time they found themselves in a lot of trouble. They were thrown out of their country's football league. I will tell them I remember you. I think those two songs suggest that they spent an awful lot of time outside of the football league. The groundsman has been lovely enough to allow me to just walk around. I don't know how weird I can be before he regrets his decision. Because I can't give the game away to you guys. And I'm inside the stadium, so it'd be pretty simple to give the game away. So I've got to find these peculiar angles. <laughs> And to make matters worse, I've got mud all over myself. I feel physically sick, to be honest. This stadium is pretty small, and when a real big team comes with loads of fans, they sell loads of seats to them, and you might find that the away support, the numbers are either the same or bigger than the home support. That should give the game away. I'm crouched down. I don't need to whisper when you crouch. I don't know why I felt the need to do that. Because behind this wall is a really iconic stand. And I think it would give the game away. Straight away. Dear mommy, dear daddy, you have plans for me. Attention all football geeks. This is a football shirt from Zimbabwe. Sent by Sangalo. Sangalo sell official jerseys from around the world. No places like Spain, Vietnam, Singapore, Uganda. At first glance, train goers probably assumed I was just a casual girl wearing a fleece, but they didn't realise I had a Zimbabwe Premier Soccer League football shirt on underneath. Hang on, is she a zebra? This is Highlanders FC, the oldest club in Zimbabwe. Sangalo believe these local leagues deserve recognition. Link in the description to check out the Sangalo website. It's a really cool page. Oh, 30 yards behind me is the football stadium, but you'd never know. Accrington Stanley, well done if you got it right. I think this is quite a, not easy one, but I think if you're a football fan of a lower league club, you probably got this one fairly early on. This is the iconic stand that I was referring to. It has no roof, so you've got to withstand the elements, and the elements, they come here thick and fast. It's already starting to rain, so I will be making a quick escape. I do just want to say a quick thank you to all the staff here, including the groundsmen, who basically just allowed me to have a little walk around to get you guys the shots. At times, I put myself in some situations where if you don't know who I am, if you know who I am, it looks a bit weird, but if you don't know who I am, it really does look strange. So I very much so appreciate that. Let me know if you want me to make this a proper series. See you later, guys.
physically sick, to be honest. I'm, I'm rapidly falling out of love with football. If I didn't drink lots of milk, when I grow up, I want to be good enough to play for Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley? Who are they? Exactly.